Today's news. Today's news. On the hour, sponsored by O'Reilly Auto Parts. I'm Tammy McCormick, Michigan, at center stage in the presidential campaigning today. Kamala Harris appeared in Grand Rapids. He is basically going to threaten the health insurance of 45 million people based on the country. And take us back to when insurance companies could deny people with pre-existing conditions? you remember what that was like? Donald Trump is also in the state. He answered questions from reporters at the airport about releasing his health records. Harris has brought up that issue repeatedly. I've given my health exams. I've also done cognitive tests twice, and I've aced them, meaning a perfect score. I want to see her do a cognitive test because she couldn't ace because she wasn't born smart. The federal judge in Trump's election subversion case today released a heavily redacted trove of evidence that the special counsel used to bring the charges. Trump's lawyers argued they shouldn't be released until after the election. The judge refused. There were nearly 2,000 documents, many blank, others marked sealed. A day after the world learned the leader of Hamas was killed by Israeli forces in Gaza, there were protests in Amman, Jordan. <laughs> Yaya's death will pave the way for an end to the violence in the region. We think that there's a possibility of working to a ceasefire in Lebanon, and it's going to be harder in Gaza, but we agree that there has to be an outcome. A warning today that this winter's COVID cases could cause a surge in hospitalizations. Alexander Tim has that. The CDC's forecasters have released an update to their outlook for this fall and winter respiratory virus season. The agency now estimates that this winter's COVID wave could reach peak hospitalizations that are worse than what we saw during the summer. That's because the summer wave peaked in August, lower and earlier than some scenarios that the agency's modelers had looked at, resulting in less population immunity going into this winter. A murder trial is underway in a small town in Indiana where two teenage girls were murdered five years ago. The case has been closely followed. The suspect, a pharmacy employee. As Oliver reports from Delphi, extra precautions have been taken for the trial. We're not going to see or hear a lot from this trial because there are no cameras allowed in court. There's only a sketch artist and a pool reporter taking handwritten notes. The judge is trying to ensure that there is a fair trial here. She has issued a gag order and the jury will be sequestered for the length of this trial, which could last more than a month. On Wall Street, the Dow Jones Industrials finished up 37 points. This is CBS News. Well, that's today's news. Today's news. I didn't hear any good news, did you? I didn't think so. I guess it's all about perspective. The glass is half full. Well, as always, I'd like to thank you again for coming along with me on these Dash Cam News Adventures. You know the drill. Peace, love, and all that hippie jazz. Bye-bye, everybody. It's 72 degrees in Oakland, California. Thank <laughs> you.